I can't find her anywhere. Maybe she's gone into the boys' room? I don't see her. We heard what's going on. She hasn't been in our room either. Nor is she anywhere in the communal area. I'll check just in case. Yume hasn't been in your room, has she? Sh she was supposed to be sleeping with us, but when we woke up, she was nowhere to be found.
Why, it's you. Enjoying a romantic rendezvous in the early morning fog?
course. If we ever need to split up to cover more ground, then the more people we have, the better. I can pull my weight in battle if we run up against any tough monsters, too. Heck, even if it takes me getting into costume again, that's what I'll do. Can you not look at me with those lust-filled eyes? <laughs> oh, there she is! Thank goodness. She looks unharmed, too. What a relief. Ah, <sighs> she has no idea just how worried she's at us. Huh? That certainly looks like her, but... Something's not right. Hmm. La la la. I'm starting to get used to this body. We must have a high affinity after all. Hmm, perhaps she's... Stop right there. Oh, so this time you came to me instead of me coming to you, huh? You may? No, something about what she said makes me think. <gasps> My bad feeling was right on the mark, huh? It's you, isn't it? Mare. It sure is! I'd be more surprised if you didn't figure it out after I left that many clues. That's right! It's me, Mayor. I'm just borrowing this little one's body for a while. This is my first time trying something like this, so I wasn't sure it was going to work. But we seem to be a perfect match for each other, so I can move however I want! Uh, uh, what? You're haunting her! Or more like you possessed her! So it seems. I don't know how this is even possible, but we can't deny what's in front of our eyes. All I can guess is that she performed a kind of biological hacking using the Zypha's resonance feature. What the? Is that even possible? I wouldn't rule the possibility out. Still, much like the Grendel, it would rely on technology far beyond what we currently have. Right. And I'm guessing it was made possible by... Well, we can have this conversation later. Right now, you need to give Yumes her body back. You belong in here. I mean, I could do that. But you don't need to be so bossy about it. This is my first time getting to experience the real world. What's wrong with me having a little fun? I bet that maid over there understands how I'm feeling better than the rest of you. 
Certainly, I... Reset. Uh... Either way, regardless of how you did it, let me get this straight. The very thing I saw in the hotels taking control of that girl's body, right? It's all very well and good that you're having fun, but you shouldn't be having it if it's causing trouble for other people. So unless you want a good spanking, you give that body back right now. Judith. Y yeah she's right. And what are you going to do if I say no? If that's how you want to play, I'll make you give it back. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. What the? Come on. Uh, figure she'd be able to use shards like a pro. Right, because she's able to rely on Van Zypha and a Genesis. Given how she is able to control the Grendel, she may be more proficient with shards than even I am. <laughs> I've always wanted to try playing tag, or whatever you call it. Here, kitty kitty, catch me if you can. Then where do you think you're going? We've got to go after them. Right. On yes, Katra. You two follow on after us. L right. P please, do what you can for Yume. <laughs> the chase is on! I, I can't believe it's possible to use shards with that level of skill. It's not for normal people. No normal human's capable of that. Uh, at this rate... Zeros! <laughs> Climb up behind me. You're light enough that it won't slow us down. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can barely keep up when she isn't using any muscle strength at all. That's enough messing around! We've got her! Game's up, kiddo. Uh, You've played for long enough. <laughs> Finally got you. Oh, come on! Five against one is no fair! Respect the rules of the game! We never... <sighs> signed up for your stupid game in the first place. Now give Yume's body back! Please! No, that one's a fake! No oh, crud! How could she make a replica with shards that feels the same as the real thing? And that's a point for you, Van! The game's not over yet! Damn it! Give this shit up already! We, we still haven't caught her! You may! Well, Mare! Please just stop and listen to us! All right. If that's how you want to play it! And I just canceled my transformation too! Fine! Then I'll do it without! Boy, this is tons more fun than I thought it'd be! That economic activity called shopping was fun too! Even if it was a bit, uh, primitive. Dining to sustain your vital functions is probably my favorite part so far, though. Still, I guess I should probably give this body back and go back to how things were before. Oh, but before that, I was really curious about that thing. Yeah? Curious about what thing? <sighs> so, you are some kind of spirit. That you knew of, but this one can. You're an intriguing little possessor. Is your host a customer at the Springs then? So, just what is it that's caught your interest up ahead? <sighs> that's enough of that. Who is she? I... I don't know. But we owe her one for finally catching her. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. So, 
who are you? That's some outfit you're wearing. <laughs> Rich to comment on my clothes, considering how you were dressed earlier. A Tachi wielder, huh? Taking a not-so-wild stab in the dark here. You're this child's guardian of sorts. I'm not going to hurt her. You're more than welcome to take her home with you. I'd be happy to perform an exorcism here and now if you want me to, too. You see, that's another one of my specialties. Yeah! Wait! Please! Don't you do anything to her! We're fine, thanks. She's gonna need telling off, but we can handle that ourselves. You're no ordinary chick, are you? Hell, I get the feeling she's a monster among monsters. Her eastern tachi and cutting-edge fortified suit certainly suggest as much. Hmm... I think I like you people. Ugh! I know work can't always be fun. I was getting real bored up here. What do you say to a little sparring match against me? Oh, and you can all come at me at once. Seriously, go for it. <sighs> <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. And yes, can you look after you, May? Mm. All right. Great. To keep it simple, I'm a Spriggan, and these are my employees from Arkride Solutions over in the capital. I get the feeling I've heard rumors about you already. But how about you introduce yourself? Sure. I don't see a problem with that. To also keep it simple, my name is Shizuna Ren Misarugi, and I'm second in command of Ikaruga. I'm also part of the Black God One Blade School. So, you all ready for a fight? As I feared. Well, uh, wait a second. I I don't even know what's happening anymore. I'm lost. What's this about an Ikaruga and a Black God now? <sighs> I heard about them back home. Well, I've never heard of Black God, but that doesn't mean this is the first I've heard of a One Blade school. There are countless Jaegers competing in the wastelands of the East, but there's one group known to stand above all the rest. Ikaruga, a triple S-level Jaeger core led by the Divine Blade of Silver. <laughs> well, you've got the spirit. Now to see if you've got the strength. <laughs> Holy hell. If we can just keep hanging in there. What? I think I'm at my limit here. Good, good. I'm genuinely impressed. I know my master warned me otherwise, but I'd be remiss as a Divine Blade if I didn't pay respect to your strength. Uh... Crap. Spirit Unification! <gasps> That's the famous... That's the master technique used by that new Divine Blade from the Empire! Oh. You know him? He started aiming to perfect his own potential, I believe. This is just my best attempt at replicating his technique. Still, I do find it pretty comfortable to use. Now, will this be enough to get you to start going for broke? <sighs> Gotta be the unclouded eye, letting her see things for what they truly are. Oh, I'm surprised you've heard of it. Get out of my head! <sighs> do, do we even stand a chance? Ugh, I cannot believe you people. Hmm? What are you doing? Get a grip already! Have you forgotten why we're even here? Our top priority is rescuing Yume. And since she's probably exhausted from having her body borrowed since last night, she needs to rest. Ah, a valid point. And you. I got a bone to pick with you. You might
might be really strong and perceptive, but if you're not out to kill us, maybe try reading the room before our minds. Divine Blade? That's sure an awesome sounding title that you're totally not living up to right now. Well, you got me there. <sighs> I'd written you off as some strange woman with some wackadoo fashion sense, but you really hit the nail on the head. That's some presence. Do you make a living on the stage or something? Well, it just so happens that I do. And who the hell are you calling strange with a wackadoo fashion sense? Um... Are we good to wrap this up now? Looks like we're done fighting either way. We only came here for a few days of R&R, &R, so we're off to the capital tomorrow. That means we don't care about you and your guys, or what you're doing in the middle of the mountains. Sounds like we're in a good place then. We're not here to fight against tourists from Long Lai. Our enemies are intruders who violate the soil of the Conlone Mountains with ill intent. Like our friend over there, for instance. <laughs> Damn. Didn't think anyone would notice me. I was gonna murder you all if the opportunity came knocking, but I guess it's not coming. <sighs> What a murderous aura. That isn't a shard camouflage. <sighs> Not good. Easy now. I am looking for a fight. I'll admit I would have taken an opening if I saw one, but I got to see a hell of a fight, so I'd say I'm satisfied. <laughs> Almost can't wait until we meet next. Oh, that halberd and armor of yours are clearly something special. Yeah, I was thinking they're bound to be artifacts. You son of a bitch. You're one of them, aren't you? Wait, are you one of the people who attacked Ida? Man, that flame eater was a fine woman. Real shame she got snuffed out like that. I'm the overseer of the Garden of Rust, Ariok the Eradicator. I'm also working with Almada's Dantes right now, as I'm sure you already caught on to. I hear you guys took real good care of Melchior and Olympia, huh? Eh. Uh, why are you smiling at us like that? Come on. I already said the fight can wait until next time. Especially since it looks like we got ourselves a few more guests. <laughs> They're finally back. The other warriors of Ikaruga. A real gathering of powerhouses. You're all from the Rigetsu school, yeah? Nice of you to drop by. Well, time to get going. See you around, Spriggan. And you too, Silverblade. Like I said, the real fun will begin at our next play date. In a joyous carnival of blood and violence, the likes of which the world has never seen. Wait a damn second! Oh, before I go, I heard you spit in fire earlier. And it was enough to make me hesitate on killing you all. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing fingers, you'll take part in the carnival too. Well, that's not a kind of teleportation I'm used to seeing. I would assume he used the power of his artifacts, which I suspect are. Yeah, he might just be the one we were warned about. I could really do without fans like him. I'm sure. Okay, looks like we really are done with fighting for today. And not a moment too soon. I'm about to crash, so if you could hurry up and get the hell out of here, that'd be great. Such impudence. No one speaks to our princess! Sure thing, Mr. Arkride. Or is it fine if I call you Van? I mean, if you want. Excellent. It was nice meeting the rest of you, too. 
Well then, until next time. Hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. The monsters on your path back have been slain and will not bother you. Farewell. Um... I can't even bring myself to comment. Regardless, now we can finally get to what we came here for. Uh, I... Okay, okay, I get it. I'm sorry, okay? This was all my fault. It's all because of me, you almost had to fight a bunch of really dangerous people. They almost put this little one in danger, too. Look who's being so sincere all of a sudden. Though I think she's done too much to get away with just a sorry. We're not even the ones you need to apologize to. That said, we can tell that you didn't deliberately set out to cause trouble. You just wanted to know more about the world, and did it without thinking, didn't you? Well... well... <sighs> I see now. <laughs> Still, try not to forget the trouble that you caused Yume. That works for you too, right Van? Sure does. Oh, and don't just up and ditch my Zypha out of nowhere. I had to use another hollow, you know. How could you do that? I'm the only one allowed to- Oh, who am I kidding? I can't complain when it was my fault. Ah, fine. I get it. I know. I'll give this body back now. Just tell her sorry for me when you get a chance. Ah. <sighs> There. It really does seem like she used the resonance phenomenon in some way. But considering she was able to operate Yume's body remotely, she must be using orbital waves. Or septium veins, even. Oh, one last thing before you go. We get that you wanted to try a bunch of different things, but why'd you come all the way up here? Oh. Right. It's because further up the mountains, I sense. That might be something to keep in mind going forward. Maybe after the activation of... Rebooting Hollow System. Hollow MKESV004 Mare has been restored. Just had to tease us one last time before she went back, huh? I don't understand why we couldn't hear some of what she was saying. Yeah, what was that about? That really threw me for a loop. We know no more than you do, unfortunately. Uh... Oh! You may. <sighs> oh, morning, everybody! You feeling pooped at all, kiddo? Uh, or hungry? Do you hurt anywhere? Um, uh, nope. I feel fine. Wait, but why are we outside? Wow! It's so pretty out here! Oh, Zeros and Vio are here too! Good morning, Yume. Uh, <laughs> well, shall we get back to Long Lai? That sounds like a plan to me. We should make sure everyone knows we found her first thing. And I should probably update my database with all this new information. Never a dull moment for you, huh? Maybe, but that goes for you, too. Thanks for all the help. I'll make it up to you sometime.
there's the tower! That's right. That means we're almost home. Are you starting to think of Edith as home, fairy? <laughs> I guess I am. It was nice to get away for a while on our trip, though. The Orbital Network connection was a little slow, but the cozy atmosphere and delicious food more than made up for that. Oh, and the springs were relaxing, too. So you did end up sneaking in all on your lonesome, huh? Lame. There's nothing better than hanging out with the boys in a hot bath. What? What are you talking about? Aaron! As in... roosters? Oh! Grandpa taught me about farm animals! But I didn't see any chickens in the bath. Uh... Aaron's just talking nonsense again. Miss Perfect knows what I'm talking about. Bet you learned all about it in those raunchy gossip mags you like. Th those belong to my friends. Um, <clears throat> Isn't it about time for you to kindly stop talking? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. She can be surprisingly forceful when she wants to be. <laughs> Sheesh. We go on a trip and everything, and the youngsters have still got energy to spare. Oh, we really aren't as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as we used to be, are we? Really? I think you two are plenty young yourselves. Mm, I guess. But lately it feels like I always tire out before Nina does. <sighs> Speaking of, I need to figure out where I'm going to stay tonight. What about your fancy condo near Treon Tower? Buzz Raiders paparazzi have been staking it out for a while now. They've even got eyes on Nina's place. It shouldn't be long until they get bored and move on to the next story. But until then, it's a pain in the neck for me. <laughs> They'll do whatever it takes to eke out a win over Meld. Would you like me to find you a secure hotel to stay in during the interim? you do that for me? Please, and thank you. Any chance I could convince you to become my manager? You flatter me. Unfortunately, I am already on loan to Arkred Solutions for my employer, as it is. Hey, we're trying to poach my people. Hmm? <sighs> What's wrong? There is heavier than usual traffic up ahead. I wonder why. I wonder if something's happening inside the capital. I've seen so many cars in my whole life! What a pain in the ass. How much longer are we gonna be stuck here? Are the Edith freeways always so busy around this time? Not usually, no. It is rush hour right now, but the traffic's almost never this backed up. Well, it can be if there's been an accident. Oh, what are we listening to? The news. I want to see if something happened. was that about? Huh? What's going on? I, I don't know. But whatever that was, it didn't sound good. No, it did not. Reset, Katra. Can you check the net? We might learn something there. I suppose it's worth a try. I will check every new site. One moment. I'll see if Nina or my agency knows what's up. I'm not getting any service out here. I tried reaching out to Ren, but the call's not going through. That's weird. Hmm? What's this? Van, I just sent something your way. You know the drill. I hope all's well with you. Let's go for a drink at Bramani's again sometime, all right? Huh. Looks like he sent me another encrypted file through the cloud. I'll need to open it the usual way. Have to save this for later, though. It looks like access to the Orbal network is being restricted. 
And it's not just a problem for Edith. This is a country-wide issue. Definitely not normal. You can say that again. This is stupid. Maybe Heiyue has some way around it. Do you know what they're talking about, Fairy? No clue. This is all going right over my head. Oh, Yume! Thank Adios, you're back! Huh? What's wrong, Mommy? Welcome home, all of you. I am so relieved to see you're safe. I is everything all right? Come on now. This isn't like you. W what happened? Why does everyone look so serious? An orbital radio? Oh, wait. Is everyone gathered for the announcement mentioned earlier? Guess so. Then the official announcement must be coming from... Then... Mariel? Oh, it's you. Uh, wait, what's wrong? Dingo's. Dingo, he's. What about him? I did get a message from him earlier. It's about to start. Those rumors can't be true, right? That. Ail. That. Just shut up and listen. Huh? Here it comes. Good evening. Today's 7 p.m. news will begin with an emergency announcement. This announcement is being brought to you by none other than the presidential office. We ask that you listen closely. I bring you this emergency announcement from the presidential office in Edith's Von Tai district. Oh, is it that? Hold up a sec. Isn't that the Specs voice? Yeah. As President Gramhart is engaged with time-sensitive matters, I, Kincaid, will be speaking on his behalf as his provisional aide. This is an announcement that deeply pains me to make, and one that will be equally painful to hear. Dingo went... He went to Cray yesterday. He'd found a new lead, you see. One that said the Mafia was going to do something awful. Before dawn today, in the Vichy County in Northwest Calvert, the village of Cray was engulfed in a monumental explosion from an unknown weapon. Huh? That can't mean... I... I wanted to go and see what he was doing. But the whole area was blocked in traffic, and my editors wouldn't let me go either! The village and its surroundings were completely annihilated. There are believed to be no survivors. Uh. Oh no! Thank you. 